Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Thanksgiving tutorial and I have been not posting for a while. I will go ahead and explain why and let's get started. I'm going to start off by priming my lids using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. For today's palette, I will be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. I use this color to set my eyelids. I'm going to be picking up this color right here. And then I'm using just an Ipsy brush that's just fluffy for the crease. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys because the last time I did a YouTube video was about two weeks and a half ago, which was a Halloween video of my mermaid look. And that was the last time I did a video because I have been in pain with my hands so it's a long story but long story short the first week of October I went to the doctor and they told me that I have tendinitis on both of my hands and the reason why I went to the doctor to begin with was because I had so much pain on both my hands that I kept waking up in the middle of the night and I didn't know what to do and at work, I work at In-N-Out Burger, so I'm always cooking and I'm always doing produce like onions and lettuce. It's too much repetitive motions that my hands were feeling really sore and very tight at the same time. So when I went to a doctor, they told me that I need to take it easy and in a couple months I'll get better. Or they said in six weeks I'll get better. So six weeks have passed and then I went to the doctors in the beginning of November and they told me that because I still have pain and everything, they told me that I might be having carpal tunnel on both of my wrists. So that's really horrible and hopefully I'll get better and I know I'll get better. So I've been just taking it super easy and just trying not to like really hurt myself. So that's why I haven't been really doing makeup or anything, any videos at all. So I'm sorry for everyone who's been asking me like why haven't I been posting. It's because of that. But... I'm just going to go ahead and do what I feel, so if I feel okay to do a video, I'm going to do a video, but if I feel too much in pain, I'm not going to do a video. But yeah, like, hopefully I'll get better soon, and luckily my job, they're super nice and loving that, like, they they just have me doing, like, cash register, so I'm just taking orders instead of, like, cooking and, like, stressing my hands too much. So, that's why I haven't been posting so much. And then I'm going to move on to this color right here. I'm going to grab this yellow mustard color right here. And I'm just going to keep blending that into my crease. Now I'm going to focus it on the outer V. Whatever I have in the brush, I'm just going to go lightly into my crease right here. I'm going to pick up this yellow mustard color again. And I'm just going to go ahead and keep blending into the crease so it could all look super blended. It's time to do the cut crease. So for today's shimmer, I will be using the Bella Pierre. I don't want to spill anything, but there's a bunch of glitter in here already. And it's just like gold. And this is in the shade Champagne. To cut the crease, I will be using the Bare Minerals Concealer. And then I'm using the Morphe Gunmetal Collection to go ahead and cut, Let's cut it. The reason why I like this concealer is because it's super thin so when I'm doing the like as I'm like trying to rotate into the crease and like just trying to blend it, it's super thin so it's like blending into the skin really good. Another inexpensive concealer that is the same way is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This one's super thin also but as you can tell I'm running out 
so I could get a little bit out of it still but the, these are really good to cut the crease. I do not recommend using the Tarte Shape Tape or the LA Girl because they're still too thick, the consistency of it. It's easier to use concealer that's thin. Then I just put like a second coat of the shimmer to brighten it up more. Back with this fluffy brush, I'm going to go ahead and grab this color right here again. I'm going to go ahead and keep blending right here. But I'm not going to go anywhere else. Just keep blending. Be going back with this brush, the Morphe Metal Collection. And it's like an eyeliner brush, as you can tell right here. I'm going to be grabbing the dark color again. This one right here. I'm going to be grabbing that dark color again right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and try to define where the cut crease is at with the dark color. Super lightly, just you want if you want to go ahead and buff it out a little on your wrist. Like that. So it's very lightly, but it has that definition where the cut crease is like darkened and then it's lightened where the eyelid is at. If I make any sense. <laughs> For today's eyeliner, I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D tattoo liner. And I don't want to go ahead and go all the way over here. I just want to go ahead and do a little line right here and then do the tail. So I'm not going to do the whole thing here. Then I'm going to go ahead and clean up the edges of my eyeliner because I did mess up. I will be using the Tarte Shape Tape to go ahead and clean up my eyeliner on the side. So eyeliner is done. I haven't done eyeliner in forever. So I feel so out of practice because I haven't been doing my makeup in a long time and my hands are feeling pretty much okay at the moment. But the eyeliner, like usually like the month of October, every time I kept doing my makeup and by the time I was almost done doing my makeup, like all I needed was to do my lashes, my hands were in pain that like they started to shake and then when I was trying to apply my lashes like they were shaking so much just to do little things like that like I'm holding the tweezers like this and my hands like shaking so little things like that was like affecting me a lot and the pain is mostly at night when I'm trying to sleep so I've been icing them a lot and I've been just taking ibuprofen for the inflammation and I'm gonna get some sleeping splints so hopefully that helps me because I need to sleep. I can't be waking up in the middle of the night because of the pain. So hopefully I get better with that. And I know I'll get better. So next, I'm gonna be applying mascara so we could get ready for the lashes. I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and it's the waterproof one. I decided to put these Coco lashes. They're in Goddess. The glue is still drying up. But I'm just going to go ahead and do my concealer and my face. But in the meantime, I wanted to talk to you guys about something else. So I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. But as I was saying, I forgot to mention that I got hacked this morning in Facebook. Last week, I was getting a message saying that like, oh, Darla, is this you in this video? And I think about six people sent me that. And I just kept ignoring it because I didn't know what it had to deal with and I couldn't open it. So, I just ignored it, didn't think about it. I was like, maybe it's one of my videos and like someone else is talking about it or something and I couldn't even, I couldn't even open it. I didn't know what to think about it. This morning, my cousin texted me and she was like, hey, you know what, I think you got hacked because everyone received this message, the same thing, but from me. So I sent it out to like 100 people about it saying like, hey, I think you're in this video. Then I got a notification saying that this person logged in in California using a computer and using Google Chrome. So I was like, nope, nope, this isn't me. Like, it's asking me, like, Facebook is asking me, like, is it you? And then I was like, nope, this isn't me. So then, like, they made me reset the password and reset a bunch of stuff. So I was like, lucky enough that Facebook, like, recognizes my device on my phone and my laptop and luckily I got everything back. Like, even my profile picture had, was different. So I was, like, freaking out this morning. If you receive that message from someone else, don't believe it. It's fake. It's completely fake. 
I thought I wasn't gonna get my Facebook back and I know it's just social media but still it's horrible to get hacked by someone else that you don't even know and they're sending out message to other people that they're all freaking out because I had like my other friend she was like what's going on like what is this video about and then like she was like is it nudes you know <laughs> and I'm like no it's not nudes it's fake you know <laughs> but still like don't believe it if you're getting it for the highlighter I'm using the Anastasia glow kit and I'm using I mix these two for my face so for my nose and the highlighting but for the inner corner of my eyes I'm gonna be using just the summer and I'm going to be using Summer to highlight my brow bone. Now I'm going to be doing my lash line, my bottom lash line. I'm going to be using the Morphe E18 brush. I'm going to be grabbing this color right here as a transition. And this is Morphe M508 brush, which is more precise and it's more of a flat brush. But it's still considered as a pencil brush because it's more, it's very little for your eyes. Then I'm going to be grabbing the dark color right here. I'm not going to pull it all the way to my lash line, I'm just going to keep it on the outer part. And then like halfway right here. Going back with this pencil brush, nothing. I'm not going to be picking up any products, I'm just going to go ahead and keep buffing it in. For my waterline, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay pencil brush. I got it from Ipsy. Okay, and all I did was add mascara to my bottom lash, and there it is. I'm done with this look. If you guys don't have the Jaclyn Hill palette, then you guys can just use warm tones. I just use very, like, natural warm tones, so you don't really need the Jaclyn Hill palette. And then whatever gold shimmer you guys have. So, honestly, I was really excited to do this look because I wanted to do something very glamorous for Thanksgiving. And there it is. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this tutorial. Let me know what you guys think about this tutorial and also because about any tips on helping my hands please if you guys experience it like you guys have it or have gone through it or you guys are at the moment healing please let me know